Happy new comic book day, everybody. Look, I made an extra stop in addition to Heroes today. So let's see what I picked up. So I made a stop today at Second and Charles. Every now and then I, make, I like to make a stop there. So see what they got. It was a light week for my haul this week. So I figured, why not? So I picked up a few things there. So at Second and Charles, I picked up Youngblood, uh, issue zero. And I love going to Second and Charles because most of their single issue comics are like $1.95. So yeah, so Youngblood, issue zero. I don't have that one. I think I have issue one, I believe. But yeah, now I got that. And then I also picked up, I have, now this is completely new to me. Um, but Superman villains, I don't know. The, the, the tag is bust. So I picked that up as well as Superman heroes. So I'm not, I, this looked intriguing to me. So I picked these up because, uh, you know, they kind of go hand in hand. It looks like. So if anybody knows anything about this, cause like I said, this is completely new to me. So if anything, if anybody knows anything about these, please let me know. I'm, I'm curious. I'm going to read these. So yeah, I'm excited about those. And then uh, also I picked up Superman issue 72, Powerless. And this is part two of two, Crisis at Hand. So I'm going to be on the hunt for uh, the first part. So yeah, pick that up, $1.95. And then also Superman, oh, Action Comics, Superman in Action Comics, <laughs> issue 700. It's a double-sized anniversary blowout. Again, $1.95. So, yeah, that's my uh, that's my second and Charles pickups today. Now, let's get to my normal haul. Now, I did pick up two short boxes. They're in the back seat. Nothing special to look at. We all know what a short box looks like. So, picked up two short boxes because that was desperately needed. So, I picked up. Uh, I have two DC books. That's it. Four Marvel and four indie books. So we'll start off with the smallest. So with DC, only having two books this week. Uh, DC, uh, issue number one, Superman Lost. Pick that up. So yeah, I'm 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 kind of looking forward to it. I, I kind of glanced through the inside. The interior art is pretty good. I like it. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. As well as now, Deceased War of the Undead Gods, issue number six. It came out a few weeks ago. Uh, but for some reason, unless I completely missed it, they didn't have cover A. I'm all about continuity. I have cover A for all of the other issues. I ended up picking up the acetate uh, variant uh, for issue six. So I have that. But they happen to have cover A this week. So... I picked up cover A for Deceased War of the Undead Gods, issue number six. Um, just noticed, though, that the top right here, that bugs me. I wish I would have noticed that earlier. <laughs> anyway, I have that. I picked that up. So now, let's talk about Marvel. I picked up... Now, this is the final issue of Secret Invasion, issue five. So... This has been like a secretly low-key series for some reason. Um, but yeah, this is the final issue for Secret Invasion. So looking forward to that. And then Immoral X-Men, part, uh, what is that, part six uh, overall for the Sinister, uh, Sins of Sinister. So this is Immoral X-Men issue number two. Um, this has been, that's been a, a fun, fun event so far. And then Miles Morales, Spider-Man, issue number four. Uh, been having fun with this, so I can't wait for that. Or can't wait to read that. And then, uh, this came out a few weeks ago, but The Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 129. It's the facsimile edition, uh, but the first appearance of Punisher. So, I think my goal at some point is to collect enough facsimile uh, comic books. Because I want to buy a spinner rack. And I want to just be old school with it. And uh, yeah, I mean, look at that. 
Evil Knievel on the back of that. That's, that's awesome, man. This is awesome. I, I love these facsimiles. I'd rather have the the originals, of course, but the facsimiles are fun. So, yeah. Anyway, The Amazing Spider-Man, issue 129, and uh, the first appearance of The Punisher. Now for The Independence. Four books, four comics. So, uh, Nemesis Reloaded, issue 3. Uh, this has been fun, not for everybody because of uh, the graphic nature of it. And uh, it, it hits a couple of points where it might be not so easy for people to read. So anyway, but ne Nemesis Reloaded, issue three. That's exciting. Can't wait, can't wait to read that. And then I love the cover bees for this book. Uh, yeah, I hate Fairyland. Yep, this is a fun book, man. This is a fun book, but continuity. The cover B, cover B, <laughs> of I Hate Fairyland, issue five. Yeah. And uh, Frank Miller presents Ancient Enemies, the Jinn. This is like, uh, for the Ancient Enemies, if you've been reading that, this is like, um, like a one-shot side story, I guess is supposed to give more of his origin. Uh, one of the main characters that was introduced in uh, the last issue of ancient enemies so yeah man uh this has been fun too I, I highly recommend the ancient enemies series it's been it's been fun so yeah pick this up and then this was a i knew about this book but kind of forgot about it but then that's why i like to take my time when i'm at heroes and just kind of look and browse so i make sure i don't miss anything i came across Evanescence, my heart is broken. Now, I'm an Evanescence fan. My wife is a really big Evanescence fan. So, you know, the band. So this is based on the song. I, I You know, I, honestly, I don't know much of the detail. But, yeah, I mean, the artwork is pretty awesome. And this is from uh, Opus. Yeah, this is cover A. So, yeah, pick that up. This is... A surprise for my wife don't tell her <laughs> so yeah evanescence my heart is broken it's a one-shot issue so i picked that up well there's my haul for this week for a new comic book day man i hope you guys are out there supporting your local comic book shop because it's very important to support these local comic book shops um so with that being said man uh let me know what you guys think of my haul i would love to know what you guys picked up today and uh, yeah, there's a link below with my Facebook page and my Instagram. Please check those out. Follow me over there as well. And please like, comment, and subscribe to this video, my channel, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, you spend a lot of money on your books, man. You really do. So make sure you read them because they're not going to read themselves. They're not going to read you.